Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat. Today, we're going to be hopping into the Royal Ghost Challenge inside of Clash Royale, where currently we're sitting 9 0 on our second attempt to get the new legendary card. Now, on the first run, I ended up going 10 and 2. Oh, so sad as I lost by like 100 HP going for my 11th win. But so far, we're 9 and 0 inside of this one, and I'm feeling pretty good about our chance of getting the Royal Ghost. Of course, it would have been nice to do it in one try, but two gives us a little bit more experience with the new card. So let's go and hop into this. This next battle right here and to see if we can put up some work all right let's go and get this started off right here i'm gonna put spear goblins to start this one off he's gonna go ahead and drop his uh, dank prince on that side over there i'll get ready with my mega knight i guess let's see if we can spice this up with our mega knight see if we can take this dark prince out and get some good old damage on him now of course he has his own mega knight which could lead to some problems but anyways we're just gonna go ahead and get ready with our musketeer to get some additional dps on his mega knight looks like it should be pretty good i've got my dark prince as well to follow up to make sure our musketeer is safe and overall this bomber is actually gonna go in though and that is sad that bomber going in is so bad for us that uh, yeah we've got to find a way to put in some work in a moment <clears throat> i'm actually gonna use my royal joke ghost I almost said royal joke. Wow, I wanted to use my royal ghost onto the bomber, but man, that actually turned out miserably. And we've already gotten down 700 elixir. As soon as the camera goes on, guys, you guys know what it is. Plays not being made left and right. Let's get the wizard going down. A little bit too far back to where we're going to take some spear gobble. Oh, a dark print shot to the face. Guys, what is going on? Everything was so crisp going to 7 and 0. All right, let's see if we can, you know, not ruin this any more than we already have and get ready uh, to drop our Dark Prince right on his, or our, sorry. No, I was gonna drop our, our Mega Knight. I keep saying Mega Knight, Dark Prince. I need to get my stuff straight right here. Mega Knights, or Musketeer's gonna go down the left-hand lane, guys. When you can't pronounce the cards, that means it's GG. Everyone knows that, but yeah. All right, looks like this wizard's gonna run down the lane in a moment. I've got the Dark Prince to follow this up. He's gonna go ahead and play his uh, Mega Knight, so we can just play our Mega Knight right on top to be able to take that out. Our Dark Prince did take splash damage due to his jump right there, which is a little bit unfortunate, but still, this Bomber really shouldn't do too much. I haven't played the Bomber for a reason. I think it's trash, and our Dark Prince is gonna start running forward. Our Mega Knight's at full HP. Take a look at his Royal Ghost. The Royal Ghost is gonna get jumped on, and just like that, we are right back in this battle, guys. We've got a full health Royal Ghost. We've got the Spear Goblins beaten away on this tower. That's gonna be tower number one going down close to zero oh so close actually but instead we got to stop this dark dude this dark prince is deadly man these dark prince charges have been absurd still with no direct damage inside of this deck there's no guarantee you're gonna win even if you end up taking the uh, everything down okay that's gg okay that's gg we got that dank prince running down the lane and that's the end of the game guys no possible way he's gonna be able to come back right here am i right there's just no possible way he's going to be able to come back right here. Mega Knight's going to go down right on top of his Mega Knight. He ended up cheesing me with a double Mega Knight combination, guys, but I don't think that's going to put in too much work. I've got Spear Goblins running in. I've got the Wizard. I've got the Musketeer. We are holding this like Mordor right now. I'm going to go ahead and drop our Dark Prince down right here. GG for win number 10 to go 10 and 2 inside of this challenge. Not bad. All right, starting off going or 10 and 0 inside of this challenge. Started off going 10 and 2, not terrible, but now we're at 10 and 0. Two out of our next four battles being wins will put us where we want to be. And let's go ahead and see if we can get it done. All right, here we go. Sparky Balloon deck. Wow. This is going to be an interesting deck right here. Taking a look at what our first card is. Um, don't really have a play. I guess I can just go ahead and drop our knight in the back. Very, very patient from both of us. He's going to play his own knight. Now, I feel if you drop Sparky, you might lose the battle. So I'm going to play our Musketeer. He's going to play Sparky, actually. So this is going to get interesting. Let's use our Inferno Dragon momentarily. Inferno Dragon's going to lock onto this knight right here. His own knight's going to go in. My Musketeer's going to be going in right here. Inferno Dragon's going to lock on in a moment. See, but this is going to be interesting. Now, Sparky, I can't have Sparky. That's what I couldn't have happen. Guys. Mistakes have been made. I repeat, mistakes have been made. We're going to end up clearing the Sparky out, but that doesn't really matter because we're getting pounded by both the Ghost as well as... Oh, man. See, I just played that bad. That's, let's just leave that there. I played that bad right there. He's going to throw a balloon down the lane. Oh, man. That was uh, not good. All right. So, you know, 10 and 1 is better than 10 and, 10 and 3. Am I right? I keep messing up my words every single time, guys. Maybe it's because it's like 4 a.m. right now. But hey, let's go ahead and keep it together. And after that balloon dies, we can just have our musketeer do work onto this knight. 
I might even have to let this knight put in work. No, I'll put the royal ghost down, see if this can do something. But yeah, this is going to be questionable. As this royal ghost goes in, guys, how do we defend it? Or how do we even play our balloon right now? Because honestly, we're at a we're a little bit lost for words right now. Let's get our Inferno Dragon going in against this mini P.E.K.K.A. That's going to go ahead and go down. He's going to drop the Sparky on my face, the no respect Sparky, guys. I can only take so much of people showing me no respect. Let's go ahead and drop our Knight right now. This is going to end up countering the Sparky super hard. We've got the Inferno Dragon at a pretty good amount of HP. A Musketeer would definitely clean us up pretty well, though, i got to be honest. So why don't we just go ahead and drop our Balloon on this side and see... Oh, wait, we're going to get the Mini P.E.K.K.A. Oh, wait, the... The Inferno Dragon's gonna go ahead and lock onto that tower right there. Check that tower burning down to zero, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, wait, I misplayed that. Uh, yeah, I definitely misplayed that Royal Ghost right there by playing that. Uh, Musketeer's gonna go down, plus the Balloon. So much damage. I need to play our Knight. I need to play the Knight to guard against everything, guys. We are in such a struggle right now. Inferno Dragon's gonna lock on, but it's gonna die. Oh, man. How can we do this? How can we do this? Let's drop a Balloon right now. Then let's drop a Mini P.E.K.K.A. Can this do something right now, or is Inferno Dragon going to clean us up? I think the Inferno Dragon's going to rock us, guys. I think that's going to be GG. Unfortunately, getting ourselves too far down in the very beginning is going to end up costing us big time. And as we get ready right now, time to go for the cheese. There's only one way to go, and that's for the cheese. Inferno Dragon going to lock onto our tower, though, so that's going to be GG. Oh, man. We blew it. We definitely blew that right there. Ah, we burned down that tower, but I win for the balloon on the right-hand lane. Definitely not a smart maneuver. We could have taken the tower without dropping that balloon on that right-hand side, and my balloons kept getting burned down by his Inferno Dragons. Ten and one. All right, let's take a look at this deck. I always forget to look at the deck. We're going to have Royal GG Sparky, so obviously when they play the Royal GG, just drop a Sparky in their face. So let's see who's going to be the first one to blink right now. And honestly, I'm just going to go ahead and start it up with our minions. And wow, he's going to play the Sparky down that side. So we're just going to go ahead and counter with a, a Royal GG over here. He's going to go ahead and play his Ghost, which is going to be interesting. There goes that. All right, everything's going in right now. I think this should be okay for us. I definitely need to do something. Okay, we're going to drop this Royal Ghost right here to put in some work against his push. Our Knight's going to go in against the Sparky. We got some good Royal GG damage, but still not too much to move the needle. I actually played my Royal Ghost perfectly to where I didn't get any splash damage from his Royal Ghost, but now we've got our Sparky ready for his Royal Giant, uh, but here goes the Knight down the lane. Okay, that Knight's going to die. And I think what might be the best move here is to go for the minions after our miner. I think the minions could be the game changer inside of this entire battle right here, just because the minions are going to be so good at clearing out most of this stuff. There go the minions. If he plays something else, I can drop a cannon on him, but that knight's just going to keep on walking down the lane. I think that's going to be fine right now, so I might even just play our, our mirrored minions. Huh. All right. Well, there goes a Sparky. Now, that is interesting. So we've got to defend against the Sparky. Our Royal Ghost will take a hit uh, from the Sparky and just take it and die <laughs> as his minions go in right here. I'm going to go ahead and get my Sparky ready momentarily for this uh, big set of minions. And then I'm going to use my Knight to tank for his Sparky. There goes our Knight. So check our Knight tanking his Sparky. See, that's why you don't play the Sparky first, guys. Because then you just get wrecked uh, by the enemy Sparky. And now he doesn't really have a counter for what we have. Let's drop a Miner in the front. front. Uh, banking on him not having minions. See, he's going to have to drop his Royal Ghost. That's going to go down in flames. Sparky's going to lock on to the Knight right here. Eventually turning around for the other Knight. Double Knight combo. Wombo combo. Both of them are going to go down to zero. Minions are going to start beating up this tower, guys. All right, we're looking good. We're looking pretty dang good right now. 630 HP. Let's go ahead and keep our cool. Don't want to be dropping the Sparky first, guys. Remember, he's going to play his RG in the back like a savage. Wow, that is a play for animals. So we're going to have to play our Sparky on this side. He already, uh, yeah, he already has revealed his Royal GG. So, you know, everything is basically off the field right now as far as what the heck is going on. Let's go ahead and get our Knight in right here. Do we want to drop double Sparky? I think that could be a mistake that costs us the game. So let's not do anything stupid. Minions are going to go in right here. We're going to get another set of minions right now. Our Sparky is going to go ahead and lock on in a moment. Got to play our... Ooh, that was bad for us. We almost got our tower exploded right there. Our miner we had to use defensively, which sort of stinks, but we're going to be able to survive. And let's just go ahead and drop the royal giant in his face and see if we can finish this one off with style as these minions run across the lane. But no, the cannon is going to run us down. That's a little bit unfortunate right there. Let's get our knight down on defense. And I guess playing the miner is going to be the name of the game. All right, another sparky in the back. This guy relentless with his sparkies just laying them on me over and over and over again i'm gonna go ahead and play this right here then our cannon okay that cannon ended up uh doing work for us and making sure our sparky was protected 
Sparky versus Sparky action. They're going to lock on. Looks like he's going to end up winning this battle of Sparkies, but that's going to be fine. Let's get our knight going in right here. And oh man, he mirrored his Sparky. That's actually super bad for us. How do we defend against this? Oh man, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Sparky. Oh wait, double Sparky action right there. Locking onto his... Wait, my Sparky. Are you joking me right now? Are you joking me right now? I'm going ham right now. Double Miner. Double Miner in the face. Oh, his Sparky turned around. Are you joking? My Sparky's going to turn around though and hit him. His Sparky's going in. 246. What do we do? We got to do something. Knight's going in. There goes our minions. Minions are going to catch him out right here. Royal Ghost is going to catch him out. Oh, but wait. The Royal Ghost doesn't tank. Royal Giant's going to go down in his face. I should have played our Miner, but wait. So this should be our victory, guys. Miner's going to go down in the very back. Royal Giant's going to run forward and end up getting on. There goes the Miner onto the tower. GG. Win number 11. Wow. What a full-on fiesta in this battle. We ended up taking it a minute and 51 seconds left into, or left in overtime. All right, 11 and 1, guys. Let's get this Royal Ghost. We don't want to do this challenge anymore. Balloon. So many counters for the Balloon right here that I don't know if you can really do too much with it. Um, so, yeah, let's just get our Archers to, down to start this off and see who's going to be the one to play a Balloon because this looks really, really nasty. All right, I'm going to Dark Goblin it up. Just get this quick splash damage that he can't respond to. Boom, 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 boom. That'll be pretty good for us. Um, getting ready momentarily. If he plays a balloon, we're going to get our Dark Goblin going in. Here's our Ewiz. All right, Ewiz is going to go down against everything. Beautiful job from the Ewiz. Then it's going to turn around onto this Royal Ghost. Oh, that's so bad for us, though, because... Ah, uh, just barely going to die. Man, okay, I haven't started this off very strong. I've sort of been throwing up all over my iPad right here. Royal Ghost is going to run towards that Lumberjack. Not bad, not bad. I'll play my own Lumberjack in response. He's probably going to play as Barbarians. You can really count what people are going to do inside of the, or inside of a mirror matchup because you know what they have in their deck. He's actually going to use Archers instead of Barbarians. It's a smart play. Going to be able to keep those guys alive a little bit longer. And as we get ready with our Dark Goblin, let's see if we can take these Archers out without taking any damage. Oh, we took one hit from that Archer. Not the end of the world. All right. Very slow start to this game, guys. We got a couple hundred points of damage to start this off, but still nothing to write home about. Ewis is going to go down. This is going to be the very first balloon play of the game. We're going to be able to stop this balloon in its tracks, fortunately, so no harm, no foul. Uh, balloon's going to explode, actually, and long, log on to uh, what we've got, which is uh, very unfortunate. So let's go ahead and get our, our Royal Ghost down right now and see if we can clean this up. Ooh, way too much damage right there. And I'm just going to go ahead and play my balloon right now and see if we can put in some work. There it goes. Lumberjack's going to go in. I know he has Ewas, I think, so this could be tough for us. Balloon's going to keep on running over here. Balloon's actually going to make it to the tower, I think. Beautifully done from the balloon right there to get some massive value onto that tower. Dark Goblin's going to log onto this archer, too, and end up killing one of them with the balloon bomb. We're going to get right back into the lead with that push. Three shots from the Dark Goblin are so strong. Wow. All right. A minute left to make this championship run happen. Okay. Maybe we're not in a championship, but we're playing for we're playing for pride right now as this Dark Goblin just completely destroys us. All right. Looks like we're just going to have to... We're going to have to play dirty right now against this guy. Let's get our Lumberjack going down over here. Wait. I might have beefed it because I don't have my Ewas yet. Dark Goblin's going to go down for all of this. Archers are going to go down too. Royal Ghost is putting in work. Dark Goblin, please! Oh, we're just barely going to end up killing that tower. Dark Goblin's in a rage spell. GG, well played. Guys, can you believe in miracles? Because that's going to be the end of this game. Okay, I went a little bit aggressive with that balloon right there because he said GG. Not very smart from me. Uh, one hit from the balloon is going to go down, so at least a little bit of an insurance policy uh, if we need to do work on both sides of this tower. Barbarians are going to split up right now. Dark Goblin just outside of tower range. But yeah, we'll play our Lumberjack right here. We'll play our Ewas right here. Dark Goblin's going to go in, and that should finish this one off in style. Good game, and that's going to be the Royal Ghost. Second try, not first, but it's going to be 12-1 for a pretty clean run-through. And a GG well played to Amir, so let's go ahead and get our new legendary card. Very nice, guys. That's what we wanted. That's what we stayed up late for, to get that beautiful Royal Ghost right there. 12-1 in inside of this challenge. We're going to collect that Royal Ghost. Very nicely done right there. And we also have a chest that we could get a Royal Ghost out of. Don't, uh, don't sleep on getting a Royal Ghost out of this chest. All right, let's just go ahead and break through, because we've maxed out almost everything else except for Hunters. Okay, we're going to get nothing out of that chest. So, let's not talk about it guys that's going to do it check out the newest card inside of clash royale which is going to be the royal ghost at three elixir invisible which is absolutely absurd and uh yeah that's going to do it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this mirror mode royal ghost video if you did make sure you smack that like button 12 wins let me know how you did inside of the comment section below but that's going to do it for this one until next time i will see you guys later peace out